Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to duplicating templates. Today we're going to take a look at the steps involved in duplicating one of the built-in templates now that you're using the Shopify sections platform. So I'm talking about some of the special templates that are included in your Out of the Sandbox theme. Let's say you've already configured a page or a product using this special template, but now you would like to configure another page or another product using that template. You actually need to make a copy of the template. That copy needs to call on an alternate version of the section code associated with the template. Then you need to set the template as the page template or the product template. You need to create a way of navigating to that particular page or product. Then head into the Customize Theme Settings window to configure that unique product or page using that particular template. So to go through those steps and make sure that you got it, we're going to give you three examples of duplicating these templates and how to wheel and deal with that. Starting here on my admin panel, I'm in Online Store Themes, and I'm going to head over here to Actions, Edit HTML CSS, which is where all of our duplicating is going to happen. So to start with an example here, we've got the page.gallery template. Let's say we've configured a gallery page already using this robust template, but now we would like to configure another gallery page. We're going to go add a new template. It's going to be of the page type, and we're going to name it something that makes sense here, like gallery2, and create the template. So that's pre-populated with the regular page.liquid code. What we want to do is replace that with the original page.gallery.liquid code, which looks like this. Technically, we only need that one section line, but we'll just grab it all and overwrite the code that pre-populated that gallery-2 template. Before we save it, we want to give our section a unique title, the section that it's going to call on here. So let's just add a dash 2 page dash gallery dash template dash two. Let's make a copy of that to our clipboard before we head out and save it here and scroll down here to the sections folder and add a new section and paste in that title that we just copied. That creates a section for us with a bit of pre-populated code but we want to overwrite that code with the original page-gallery-template code. So we can select all of it and copy it, head back to our dash two version of the section code, and overwrite the code that's there by selecting it all and pasting in the code we just copied. And we can go ahead and save that. So those are the code steps involved in creating one of these copies. You create a copy of the template, you have that template call on an alternate section, you create that alternate section, and then you make a copy of the code from the original section. Now that that's all set, we can head into Pages. And when we go to Add a Page, you will see that Gallery-2 is now one of our options here in the Template Selector. You can go ahead and select that and save. To actually configure this gallery page, I will need to add this page to my store's navigation, which I can do here by changing one of my main menu links to go to our demo page. And then finally, to actually configure the page, head into Themes, Customize Theme, and then here in the Customize Theme preview window, we can access the page using the link in the header where we now have a separate set of gallery settings to start configuring a second gallery page. Let's take a look at another example here. Back on my Themes panel, I'm going to head into Actions, Edit HTML, CSS, and let's see what it's like to create a copy of the product.details template. So we've already configured a product using the product.details template, and now we'd like to configure another one. I'm going to go to Add a New Template, of the product type, name it something that I will remember here, like details2, and create the template. We want to make sure that we are making a copy of the original product.details template. So we open it up here, make a copy of it, and paste it to overwrite the code that we've got. 
Now it's calling on the product-details-template section. We want to alter that slightly. Let's make that dash 2. And before we head out, copy it to our clipboard. Save the template. Then down here in the sections folder, we're going to add a new section. Paste in that title we just copied to create the section. Now find the original product-details-template code, select it all, copy it all, head back to our dash 2 template, highlight all the existing code, and paste in the code we just copied to overwrite it. And here we have a unique product.details template and section ready to go. Then with that alternate template created, you could head into products here instead of pages. Select a product where you will now see that you can select the product.details-2 template here. With that saved, if we actually want to go and configure this particular product page, we need to make sure to add it to our navigation in some way, whether that's through a collection link or whether we create a link specifically for that product so that when we go into themes, customize theme, we can access this specific product um, from the home page. So we'll do that through this link here. And now we've got access to this separate set of product.details settings, which will not affect other products that are using the regular product.details template. All right, if these steps still aren't clear, or if you've come to this video to see how to copy the page.details template specifically, then here we go. We're going to go through these steps one more time. Head into Actions, Edit HTML, CSS, add a new template of the page variety. This is going to be Details 2. Create the template. Go to the original page.details template and copy the code and paste it to overwrite the code that pre-populated the page.details-2 template. Create an alternate name for the section that you're calling on, or we'll, we'll call it dash 2, and copy that title to your clipboard before you save the template. Then scroll down to the sections folder, add a new section, paste in that section title that you just copied. In the Sections folder, find the original page-details-template. Copy all the code and paste it in place of the code that has pre-populated your dash 2 version of the section code. Go ahead and save that. Then when it comes to actually configuring the page, head into Pages, add a page, details demo we will call it and you'll see that you now have the option of selecting the page.details-2 template here save that and be sure to add it to our stores navigation so that we have a way of accessing this page from the home page finally to configure the page head into customize theme Access the page in the preview window here on the right to see your settings change to access the page.details2 settings here on the left. Unique to any other pages that are using the original .details template. That's all there is to it as far as creating copies of templates now that you're using the Shopify sections platform. If you had any questions or you hit any snags, head on over to our support center help.outofthesandbox.com where you will find a plethora of resources to help you out. My name is Sean Campbell. Thank you for joining me for this video guide. Take care.